At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over March 2023. We had a pretty good bounce back from February, so super excited to share the results with you. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems in the futures market to trade my own capital and hopefully make a return. So anyways, let's get started. Okay, so let's check the performance for March. It was a pretty solid month. We had a really nice bounce back since February, so I will select the performance report type uh, last month. Yeah, that shall be good. Let's hit go. So yeah, what you're, usually what I show is the NinjaTrader platform screen. This is their a new and improved website uh, after they acquired Tradeavate, and it's a much better user interface in terms of um, showing returns and I wasn't supposed to show that. I don't, I don't like showing my account number. Sorry, guys. I guess it's too late, but all right. So um, here's a performance. We had a gross P&L of $19,222.75. After commissions and trading fees, we ended with a net profit for March of $18,404.99. So overall pretty solid. We had 475 total trades traded a thousand contracts in total average hold time was 56 minutes you can see i'm focusing a lot more on on lower hold times scalping day trading that sort of stuff longest trade time was five hours and 44 minutes we had a 44 percent win rate on each trade and expectancy we had 40 dollars and 47 cents that means every trade that we made we can expect to make 40 dollars on average uh, and we paid over 800 dollars in trading commissions and fees we have the profit trades, losing trades here, left and right. I have some nice bar graphs. Uh, and I think these came from straight from Tradeavate. So NinjaTrader did acquire Tradeavate, if you didn't know. And um, they've kind of integrated their, their software. Uh, so I, I like it a lot better. I like it a lot, a lot better than the trade performance tab on NinjaTrader. Um, but we can see some stats here, like winning and losing days, PL history. Uh, profit and loss per time a day and stuff like that. So overall for the month of March, um, you know, February was a really tough month. There was a lot of, a lot of the intraday action was inconsistent where we would gap up or gap down and we would reverse most of the day. We wouldn't keep trending. There was no big trending days. March didn't have that many either, but it had like two, two or three big, big winning days uh, where it trended all that, uh, all the same day where it gapped up and would continue, uh, trending the rest of the day. I think they were both uh, bull days where they gapped up and continued uh, that gap. And a lot of my trading systems will do well when that happens. So that was good to see. Um, as you can see, we didn't have a huge win rate in terms of 44% uh, profitable trades, but we went, we, we won pretty big. Um, so very happy with that. Uh, just to reiterate, so 18,000 net profit, that's based off an account size of eighty thousand dollars as a starting capital um so that would be uh ten percent would be eight thousand so that would be like 21 22 percent return in a month which is incredible i mean i couldn't i'm happy with five percent so overall solid month good bounce back we're still up year to date uh, which i'm really happy with and uh, recently I've been focusing on adding a lot more mean reversion trading systems to the portfolio. So instead of trend following and momentum, uh, momentum systems, which, you know, is the bulk of my portfolio, the net, the, the next step is adding more mean reversion bots that do better on choppy days where we gap up and then close down or gap down and close up, focusing on adding more of those trading systems, tighter, tighter, uh, profit targets and, obviously triple checking the correlation and make sure each of the new strategies I'm not adding are not too correlated. So, um, you know, there's two ways to fix correlation. That's, that's number one is trading other instruments. Number two is trying different exit types. So you can have five, you know, four or five strategies that trade in queue. Uh, but some might want, you might want to have trail stops to, to capitalize on huge days. Some trading systems need to have tight profit targets and stop losses to capitalize on choppy days. Right. Um, so you can have multiple systems that are not correlated. Um, you just got to make sure usually you got to have different exit or entry types. Usually exit types will help with that. So that's my main focus uh, for March and it's been paying off uh, April so far. Uh, I'm up month to date, but obviously you'll see that video at the end of April. Overall, really happy with this year with trading so far. I'm outperforming the market and we're just going to keep at it, keep kicking butt and keep building great coding 
or <laughs> keep coding great trading bots uh, as that's my course name. So that's a video. That's March, guys, March 2023. Let me know in the comments below if you find value in these videos. And if you want to work with me, there's some links in the description below uh, for my course as well. So anyways, have a good weekend, guys. Happy Easter, and we'll see you next week. Bye.